So our do-it-at-home laundry system has two machines that we've made. This is our agitator. <laughs> Don't worry, it was never used for anything other than its current purpose. Uh, drilled a bunch of quarter-inch holes into it that allows water to uh, agitate inside the our buckets, which I have two of. Uh, and then we have, uh, this is the ringer that we'll be using to, uh, to hopefully wring our clothes. We never used it before actually for its purpose, so let's see if it works. So the first step is going to be, you can come get a better look at this, we get the clothes in there with the soap, and you can actually, you can see how this moves the water through the holes. So we just do this for a couple minutes in here. It's a halfway decent upper body workout. But we're pretty lazy about it. Ella enjoys the process. Once we've done the agitating, i let them soak for a little while. And we take our clothes through here and we're gonna wring the soap water out first, in theory. And you see it does a pretty decent job. Then it goes right into the water, into the rinse bin over here and we'll repeat that process. The, uh, the rinse cycle is, uh, is exactly the same as the wash cycle, minus the soap. Uh, we'll just, same thing, just agitate it up for a couple minutes. Uh, you can definitely see, even for a lightly soiled load of laundry, that this is an effective method for getting some of the dirt out. Once we've agitated the the uh, the rinse uh, side for a little while, a couple minutes, good to wring these out as well. Yeah. It is not currently getting a bone dry, but uh, <laughs> Even a little bit dry is a big improvement. If I have to hammer it a little bit, that's a big improvement for me. It was uh, quite a job before. So let me put some of this stuff down two times through, maybe. And it's ready for the hamper. So this might be my favorite part of the entire system. This is the, uh, the old Lansdale, uh, or I'm sorry, Lancaster Amish uh, laundry system. We are currently on the second floor deck off the bedroom. And this was where we do the laundry upstairs anyway, so this way we just uh, close pin up on here and then uh, we send that out uh, on its way to be dry out there now. Uh, out there sometimes when the weather is right, we get a nice steady breeze, everything will blow through there and dry out real quick. Well, there you have it. And this is the actual ringer itself, uh, a little bit more depth. It is, a, uh, it's too, uh, rubber wood rolling pins from from uh, from Walmart. They were three dollars and eighty four cents a piece that I went ahead and and uh, dissected and put in here. The framing I had around this is some uh, some two by that I had. I believe this was uh, part of our loft bed in downtown L.A. Uh, and then <clears throat> dowel comes through here. This actually is glued into the first pin here. And we've just uh, have this is actually not even glued on. This is just uh, just being held by pressure tension right now. So then uh, this one is is just a, a free wheel. It's uh, only turning because this one is. I've cut a slot into the side here um, so this can adjust up and and down uh, with the depth of whatever it is that I'm putting putting in here um, and. There's some some uh, conduit holders that we have on here, just working as a uh, as a bearing race actually, with no bearings. And then we are just adjusting the tension with this with a couple hooks that I had laying around the shop. And so we've got them tensioned in here over. So if I want a little bit less tension, a little bit more tension, we're just moving our bungee, um, our Harbor Freight bungees here. And that is the long and short of that. Oh, I, yeah, I'm wedging the system in here with just a simple 
architectural wedge to uh, to keep the plastic uh, keepers in the, in the bottom one here. I probably should have designed that a little bit better. Uh, they have a little bit of plastic in here that the metal bar runs through and the, the hole itself is about a little shy of seven eighths. Uh, and so they put a plastic filler in there to hold the, the metal rod in place and that it hasn't been the strongest thing in the world so I wedged that in there so it kind of stays all together. Um, in a redesign I would do that differently but that's where it is now.